What did you say? Jim, what's the V mean on your hat, man? This woman can't have a... She can't process one more fucking thought in her head <laughs> until she finds out what the V means. It means vaginal herpes. <laughs> He's, uh, he's mourning for the cause of all women with vaginal herpes. He's carrying the torch. It's, it's Jim's silent battle for vaginal herpes. <laughs> oh, man, this question shit's working out pretty good, man. Oh, this is great. I just like his way, like his nature. Ordinarily, his type of style would tend to rub me the wrong way that kind of hey man it's all good like that tends to be a personality type that rubs me the wrong way but tom is sincere that is not like a construct tom is that way on or off stage pearl jam they're cool but you know what's funny about pearl jam almost every song they do is about the lead singer eddie vedder's screwed up childhood and you know his dad is just sitting around somewhere going Phew. damn it why didn't he ever do a song about that trip we took to yosemite <laughs> You know how the young rockers wearing like thermal plaid now? You think lumberjacks wearing spandex and sparkly shirts, man? <laughs> <laughs> Cut down this tree for a little girl I met in Cincinnati. Starting out in comedy, just, it, it can be one of the hardest things you ever do, but it's fun because you, you only start out once, and it's a process. The trial and error and all that is exciting starting out. Jerry Garcia, huh? I was sad he died, Jerry. Everybody bummed out about that? Yeah, it's always sad when a man of peace and love dies, but uh, to be honest with you, I'm just glad I wasn't one of the pallbearers. I mean, at least Freddie Mercury's buddies didn't have to set him down and rest every couple of feet. <laughs> woo My back is killing me. Let's put this fat fuck down for a second. Oh, Mr. Peace wasn't afraid to reach for a Snickers, now was he? I was in San Francisco when Jerry Garcia died. I went to the corner of Haight and Ashbury. Did you guys go there? They had a little vigil and people were lighting candles and crying and hugging each other and shit. It was real cool. But there were two cops there, man. And I asked one of the cops, I go, hey, is anything freaky going on? And only in San Francisco will you ever hear a cop say, no, man, it's all beautiful. <laughs> so he braided my hair and... Uh, yeah. We talked about the James Baldwin novels we had read. If I knew he came from Florida, I wouldn't have helped him the way I did. I thought he was more of a hippie, but now he's sort of more like white trash. But yeah, I still like him. I love the guy. Okay, this is a big compliment coming from me. You like Bill Clinton? Yeah. Kind of looks like the uncle you get high with at the family picnic. <laughs> it's about his most redeeming quality. I'm a little disappointed in Clinton. I was hoping Bill Clinton would bring a little bit more white trashness to the White House, you know? Like the first time ever, there'd be like big oil stains out in the driveway, like an engine hanging from a tree. See him and Al Gore out in the yard working on an El Camino or something. Yeah, I want to see drunk relatives in tube tops playing lawn darts, man. I want to see Chelsea shaking her biscuits to Skinner. <laughs> You're a sweet little biscuit, Chelsea Clinton. I think that you have boss hair, and I would love to braid it sometime. Maybe sharing a conditioner tip or two. I passed a movie theater that was doing a tribute to River Phoenix. It was kind of freaky, huh? Him overdosing like that? He was a vegetarian, you know. So if you're gonna go out and do a bunch of coke and drop quaaludes, you need a good steak. A solid protein base. You're not gonna get that from a rice cake. Go to Sizzler, get something to build off of. I performed in Alaska last year. I didn't know what to expect up in Alaska. I thought they might still pay with stuff with beaver pelts or something, you know? <laughs> I had this image, you know, I'd be going to the convenience store to get a pack of smokes. I'd throw down my beaver pelt, you know, I'd grab my smokes. They'd give me a couple squirrel hides back for my change. <laughs> huh, put that in that styrofoam cup that says, need a squirrel hide, take a squirrel hide, got a squirrel hide, leave a squirrel hide. <laughs> I rented a dog sled while I was in Alaska. That was cool. All the dogs had on these cute little hurt sweaters. <laughs> and you know, as a rental, I didn't give a shit. I ran the hell out of those dogs, man. <laughs> Fed them the cheapest dog food I could find. Took them out and did donuts. <laughs> 
You know, I remember back then he was rocking the long hair, so I remember Tom immediately. And he was telling like weed jokes. I'll never be able to stop smoking the fucking weed, folks. I just will not be able to do it. Man. Oh, by the way, uh, jazz musicians and fat girls in Camaros always have the best pot. That's the result of a private study I've been conducting. <laughs> Years of research. Why do you have to go through so much trouble to get it, man? I mean, when I lived in Florida, when I was poor and broke, I remember there was a guy, we used to get this shit called infant weed. Because you'd have to hold the guy's baby while he put the weed out. Why is it marijuana legal here, folks, man? I know why. You ever been to the pro-marijuana rallies here in San Francisco, Golden Gate Park, man? Have you ever been? We have the, they got the wrong spokesman. That's why, you know, you, 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 uh, you can make rope out of it. They're not buying the rope story, man. You gotta think of something else. Uh, rope, man, no. Huh? You can do a lot with rope, man. You tie it in knot. And you can put a pretty bow on your bag of dope and, uh, rope. Marijuana is not a drug, it is a plant that is growing in my closet. <laughs> Legalize it? What the fuck, huh? Legalize it for one year, and if the locusts don't come, then God thinks it's okay. It's just my bag, man. You know, I like him. He tries to say something. I always think that's, at its best, a comic will try to express something. A feeling, an idea, philosophy, something, you know. And that's what Tom always tries to do. It's funny, you don't hear nothing about Somalia anymore. Doesn't that disturb anybody? Remember, man, like two years ago, every night on TV, little skinny, ball-headed kids. Damn, it was so hard to enjoy a large pizza back then, man. Oh, fuck, look at our kids. Come on, turn the channel. Oh, mm, mm. Come on, he's got flies all over his face. Not funny. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wait a minute, there's titties in the background. <laughs> Now you don't hear nothing about Somalia. I guess you go there now and they're full, right? Yeah, you go there now and there's like Snickers wrappers everywhere, empty Yoohoo bottles, everybody's sucking on a toothpick. I'm stuffed. Oh. The show gets successful, I'm gonna buy like Ace Freely boots. Bootsy Collins sunglasses. I might even buy a monkey like Michael Jackson, man. I'm gonna hang out with my little monkey. I'm only gonna. You wanna talk to me? You ask the monkey, and the monkey tells me. Okay? The monkey will tell me. The good thing I don't have any control, man, because uh, what I wanted originally for my show, I wanted the classroom to be only like ex child stars. <laughs> Like Gary Coleman, and Emmanuel Lewis, little Adam Rich. Come on, man. They're not too big for the desks. Yeah, I'm a nice guy now, man. In a year, I'll be all coked up at the Viper Room with Gordon Jump. Yeah. Me and Gordon Jump all coked up, man. You think the guy from Stone Temple Pilots fucked up? Oh, my God. That's my dream, man. Just the, me going to rehab would fucking make the news. And I'm thrilled he got his hair cut. Thrilled, thrilled that he cut his hair. He didn't like the long hair. I always said it was a little crispy. He needed a little leave-in conditioner that he never used. That always bothered me, that his hair was drier than it should have been. After episode three or four, it totally... You know, it turned into like a children's show. Boy, you gotta learn how to score. When I'm done here, I'm sending down the fines. It was horrifying. It was really horrifying. L.A. people look at you by what project you got going on, and I just wanted to get back to being a stand-up.
the show and he goes, hey, don't say fuck here. <laughs> if Bill Cosby was here, he wouldn't say fuck. <laughs> I said if Bill Cosby was in Wichita, Kansas, making the money I'm making, he'd say fuck. <laughs> I've been so blessed, everybody. I was living in Amsterdam. I had my own late night talk show on Dutch television for two years. Expensive suit, opening monologue. I got my desk and I'm interviewing people. I got a sidekick. I got a cool brother from Rotterdam. But you can cuss on Dutch television. There's no language restrictions. You can say everything. There's no Dick, restrictions cunt, at all. Whatever. I can say anything I want. You got in a fight with Madonna. You flirted with Lenny Kravitz. Yeah. And I heard you fucked David Bowie. I <laughs> did. The fact that I'm interviewing their biggest celebrities and I don't know who half these people are. Uh, it says, uh, it's in the gossip magazines that you're, uh, you're getting boned by this guy in your video. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? We are arrested in Suriname and we are put in jail for three weeks. And uh, so, um, that's not funny. Uh, no, no, it's, uh, <laughs> he was in jail oh. for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> and you were beaten too. Tell him you were beaten. No. Ah, ah. Yeah. Why does she have a skull by her cookie? <laughs> I don't get it. Does that mean that uh, it's death for all those who enter here? No, no. <laughs> that's, that's like the warning above Dante's Inferno for hell. Well, Whoa, well, all ye who have... enter here. The friends are going to talk about it, about the boyfriends also, so you get a round story. Well, I wouldn't want anybody talking to my ex-girlfriends. No, me neither, so... <laughs> right? I mean, I went out with a girl, and we argued all the time, and I remember on the first date, she said to me, we're having dinner, and she goes, what kind of drugs do you like? And I thought, what an honest question, man. I said, I really like smoking weed, and once a year, I like to do mushrooms for spiritual purposes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. And every once in a while, ecstasy can be pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. And she was just staring at me with this blank look in her face. She said, I said, what kind of dogs do you like? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I don't like dogs. <laughs> Unless they got a bag of weed tied around their collar. <laughs> I love living in Holland, man. The women are beautiful in Holland. I'm serious. Every once in a while, I would have to go to England just to rest my eyes. <laughs> So I moved back to the States a year ago, and I'm in culture shock, everybody. The United States is like a foreign country to me now. It's weird. Nobody eats bread anymore. Everybody's on a low-carb diet. It's weird to go to McDonald's and see somebody just in a meat patty with no bread on it. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, fall on low-carb diet. We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down a little bit. We want to look good in the painting. <laughs> Technology is so much more advanced now. A friend of mine has a camera phone. Have you seen these things? They're amazing. And my friend showed me on his camera phone, he's got pictures of his girlfriend. He's got close-ups of her cookie and uh, <laughs> pictures of her blowing him. And I'm like, wow, you can, you can do so many things with those. I've got to get a girlfriend. <laughs> Entertainment package they are. Check it out too. Misspelled. <laughs> like uh, I have a small wiener. Yeah. Wiener's misspelled. Yeah. Dude, you're the, I love the tattoo on your back. Can yeah, we see yeah. the one on your people, back? People ask the, me all the time. The one of the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, my rock. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. But I, I mean, I think that would be the dream role for every actor. It's a great part. To play the, uh, the person possessed by the devil. How would you do that? I would do it, uh... You gotta... It's well, okay. I totally forgot about Spider-Man once I saw the oysters in the damn key. I was even cooler than Spider-Man. I think that's the movie of the year, man. <laughs> okay. And I don't speak Dutch. I don't know what was happening, but you're naked through half that movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Wonderful camera work. So you... The lighting on the breasts, everything and was the just... the emotions, of course. Uh, the emotions, oh. sure. Yeah. Were there emotions? <laughs> 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 you are the first guest to say fuck you to me. I said it really You said it very silent. quietly. My last girlfriend was a disaster. It's an interesting story, though. I was dating this girl before I left Holland, and she was Moroccan. She was Muslim. And I really liked her, man. And it was fucked up because she couldn't tell her family about me because I'm a non-Muslim. And on top of that, I'm a white American, which is really unpopular with European Arabic people for some reason. 
And then we had to break up because if ever it was going to get any more serious, I would have to convert to Islam. And that blows my mind. It's such an ancient problem would ever affect me in my lifetime, you know? I mean, I don't know nothing about machine gun. <laughs> How am I going to be Muslim? Ski mask make my face itchy. <laughs> No booze, no pork, that's a hard program, man. If I could give up booze, I don't think I could ever give up barbecue pork. I think that was the problem back in biblical times. They just didn't know how to do the sauce. We're here doing a special on uh, children that should be in school. Future criminal, keep an eye on him. Look at that, watch that face grow. Put it in the public data. Fuck you. Well, the kids are charming. Yeah, real charming kids. They're really charming kids. Cute, cute. Jennifer, you won. You came in fourth in the national sex test. So. You know what your, else? You know your way around yeah. the penis. Is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I show you? <laughs> I don't see how you came in fourth in that test. I think this new pope sucks. Can we impeach a pope for boring the shit out of us? I miss the old Pope, John Paul II. That was a Pope, baby. Did you see that funeral for John Paul II last year? I watched that funeral and I thought, damn, what do you think Oprah's gonna get? They're gonna redecorate the pyramids for Oprah. Way more people love Oprah than love the Pope. The Pope never stopped in the middle of a mass and went, everyone look under your seats. You're all getting a Pope mobile. Do you know who Ganesh is? The elephant head boy. I love the Ganesh story, man. Because all religions have got some fabricated shit you got to believe in. Why not believe in the elephant head boy? I want to go to India, man. What a fascinating place. People starving to death. Cows walking around all over the place. There's a sandwich right in front of you. Don't pray to the sandwich. <laughs> get off your knees and get a fork and stick it in its ass. <laughs> You're supposed to eat cows, right? They're slow, they're fat, and they're tasty. If we weren't supposed to eat cows, it would have evolved thumbs and invented weapons by now. There'd be cows in trenches with helmets on, going da, 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 da. Move. Without the devil, everything would be really boring. It would be. Yeah. Constant Bible I study. I thank God for the devil. <laughs> 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 is that is, yeah, that that is purified truth, man. Purified. Did you, would you call me? No, I just said that was oh! <laughs> oh! And then that ended and the same network gave me a travel show. So for most of last year, I got to travel all over the world making this TV program. I was in Peru last year. This is Maternity Beach. On this island, there are over 3,000 sea lions. The male sea lions can have up to 20 females. I can't even get one. After crossing a road path at an altitude of 4,200 meters, I have now entered the mountain city of Chivai. Hola, señora. Uh, ¿Vendes coca? Coca, no. No? Um, Afuera, más oh. abajo. Sí. Gracias. These are coca leaves. A la coca, así comen, así. Ya. Ajá. Ok. Así. Ok, and then I... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, I got a big bag of coca leaves. I love this country. I want to do everything in Peru, so I need lots of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Senora, yeah. uh, Chappelle, what is this? Yeah, can I try it? Me? No. Yeah? Two? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the lady I bought a big bag of coca Why? leaves from. That's, like that's good, no, that's plain enough. And in Peru, they eat hamsters. It's a delicacy. Because we were filming it, I had to try it. 
and I didn't like it. Thank God. Wouldn't that suck if you found out you loved hamster? You'd have to hang out at pet stores all the time. They keep dying. Maybe the wheel is too tight. Mmm. I love Peru. Everyone in Peru is this tall. I wish I could see all my rock concerts in Peru. <laughs> Big seller in uh, Russia? Deodorant. Don't think they have much of it. I don't think there's much of it here. Every once in a while, you're in the middle of nowhere in Russia and your van breaks down. This is our driver, who is now our mechanic. This is the old communist vehicle that broke down on us. What's he say? Whoa! I don't know, man. Apparently in Russia, a bus will just pick you up in the middle of nowhere. This crappy old mean dude that works on the highway, uh, I thought he was gonna take us to jail, but he just flagged us down a bus. All right. You're in travel, the ugly side. And because our bus broke down, who knows how we would have gotten back otherwise? You know, when you're a traveler, you're either lucky or you're unlucky. And today, we're lucky. It's funny, the names of diapers. You got loves and huggies. But for adult diapers, they're called Japan. And that's because if a little bit of baby shits in his pants, you know you still want to love him and hug him. But if an old person shits in his pants, do you still love him? Depends. Depends if I'm in the will or not. If I'm in the will, I'll wipe your ass and powder your balls, old man. <laughs> Don't forget little Tommy. <laughs> Tired of all this celebrity poker. I suck at poker, I'll never be on TV. I can't wait for celebrity Uno. <laughs> I'm great at Uno. Danny Bonaducci, draw four, motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I've been in a celebratory mood for like two weeks now. I'm glad that you're a part of it. Uh, I've been celebrating ever since I found out the news. Uh, about a month ago, I gave blood. And it had been a few years since I had the full blood test. So I paid the extra money and had them do the full blood test. And I do not have AIDS. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. I do not have hepatitis C. Thank you very much. And I do not have syphilis. Thank you very much. However, I do have high cholesterol. <laughs> but that's okay, because people will still fuck you if you have high cholesterol. <laughs> so get your panties off and bring me some big. We all have common ancestors, folks. We're all interconnected. There's no such thing as death. Life is a journey, it's continuous and never ending. <laughs> Everyone always remember to leave a safe distance between you and the car in front of you. <laughs> Avoid cops, snakes, and exposed electricity. If you can't pay one credit card, you can't pay five. <laughs> Never keep your muscle relaxers with your breath mints. So if you're on a plane and you know it's going down, fuck it. Try and enjoy the last few moments of your life, man. Treat it like a roller coaster ride. Woo! Woo! Taunt the pilot. Faster, pussy! You guys are great. Thank you very, very much for coming down tonight. God bless.
Oh my god. Oh my god, what is that? It's burning. Well, it's with pepper and honey. You know, it's very special.